Santa Monica, three people assaulted, two of them stabbed inside a parking structure next to the Third Street Promenade. It's a story we first brought you as breaking it's news. It's the thing about with me, man. Once that dude would have started, like, stabbing people and shit, if I was standing there, like, I just pulled out some Mason spray and it would have been over instantly. Like, I'm not even, like, trying to brag or nothing. Like, it's just that easy, you know what I'm saying? Like, you spray him in the face with me and it's over. What kind of Mason are you? <laughs> I got, um, what's this kind? Um, how, how, how much that shit on you? I, I ordered this. This is protect the the this the protector. Um this this one right here, whatever you see on the the the, the label fruit um kind of fell off. It's called protector, something protector. Um I gotta i I'll find out the brand for y'all and I'll and I'll um but anyone will do. Now this is like some potent shit right here, but yeah. Come on. Any, anything will do. Yeah, gliders don't sure have like gliders are like prey animal though like they're not they don't understand yeah, hey yeah. having like 10 million sombritos come in here is gonna like increase the violence like they just don't fucking get it don't stop calling him a sombrito you don't know if this is a sombrito or an umbrito let's see let's see if this is a sombrito Listen, man. or an umbrito freaking gliders aren't even like prey animals because at least they can run <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> sitting ducks. Yeah, let's see if this is a let's see if this is a sombrito. But... Last night, and tonight we're learning more about the suspect and new reaction from Santa Monica's mayor, KCAL News reporter Tom Wait, live now in Santa Monica for us, Tom. And good evening to you on the parking structure where this all happened is just behind me here, just off of the Third Street Promenade. We spoke with the mayor tonight just a short time ago. He says he actually had dinner in the same restaurant as the victims. He says they were German tourists. Three of them were attacked. One is in wow, critical Wow, Germans. How, how ironic. Well, but stable condition. Yeah. Police descend on Santa Monica's bustling, iconic Third Street Promenade on Sunday night. Inside a parking structure, three people were attacked, two of them stabbed. One remains in critical but stable condition. Police say it was another unprovoked random assault. I was actually at work and we heard all the sirens coming rushing over. And Madeline Gunther works at a store on the promenade. We just thought like crazy person again, crazy thing happening. Police identify the suspect as 29-year-old Larry Cedeno. Police yeah, that's an old breed, though. That's an old breed. That ain't, no son in him. ain't no son in him. He's probably 5'4", tops. Yeah, ain't yeah, no I don't think he's Spanish in him either. He's like a full-on proto-human Indian. Yeah, that is Yeah, definitely, yeah, man. man. Um, 100%. He ain't got no admits. Like, there's not one white rapist <laughs> country. <Sal in it. laughs> that damn chief sitting bull right there. Yeah, that's an old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. That's what yeah. I, now listen. Yeah. Imagine his, imagine him with like one of those old man hats on, right? Yeah, the helmet. Me, the helmet, one of those helmets on. Look at the nose, look at the lips. That's that's the old man. They try to act ears. like. Motherfuckers got small lips like white people. Nah, he got because the omic. That's what's really making them say them omic statues is black people. The lips, right? Yeah, yeah, and the nose, right. and the nose. Yeah, too. yeah, and the nose. Yeah, that, yeah. There's other people in the world with big lips and wide noses, like black people. <laughs> His water. lips aren't even big though. They're not even big. They're just not like. No, they're not like. They're not like. Yeah. Like mine, my lips. Yeah, these lips ain't like my lips. These Oh, man, he's small, man, man. Yo, I, man, I tell you, I saw, I saw a black woman come in one time, man. I swear to God, her lips are so big she could scratch her chin with her bottom lip and her nose with her upper lip, just by shaking her head up and down. <laughs> I was like, holy shit! <laughs> yeah, that's what John Gruden called the Michelin tires. Yeah, man, these, this, these are just normal sized lips, but that you can see. How black people would be like, oh, that's us. Nah, that's not you. You would never make something that could last that long. Shit. 
police are actively searching for more information about how the attack unfolded. When officers arrived on scene, they had to administer CPR on one of the victims as police chased down the suspect. The apparent random stabbing here comes a week after another random attack at this public restroom along the Ocean Walk in Santa Monica. Police say a mentally unstable homeless man grabbed a woman by her ponytail as she was on her morning jog and tried dragging her into the restroom. Good Samaritans helped save her. It's a symptom of, of crime not being taken seriously. Santa Monica Mayor Bill well. Brock. They're isolated instances, but obviously I not only feel for the victims who I sat next to at dinner an hour before, but but I feel for every resident in our city who needs that feeling of safety and security. I don't know the circumstances of this particular individual, but oftentimes we find out that it's connected to either mental health or substance abuse. We've had these incidents happen and, and it's not just in Santa Monica. I think it's anywhere where you have a homelessness and mental health and uh, addiction crisis. Mayor Brock says he believes the suspect in the parking garage stabbing Sunday night was also homeless. He's on probation for larceny. On the promenade, there is a sense this will keep happening unless major changes are made. There's no mental health services for them. There's nothing we can do. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. That's over three times we heard it. Uh, mental health services for them. No, put those people in a fucking institution. Open up mental health, mental hospitals and shit again. Mental facilities. Open them shits back up. Throw them people in there and let the fucking people just keep them in there like jail. Yeah, but like once they become like 90, like 80 percent sun and 20 percent on burrito, this fucking chick right here is going to fight against it. So to close it down. It is. Yeah, facts. And of course, local officials are trying to roll out more mental health services for people here. But when you talk to people who live and work in the area, pretty much any city in Southern California at this point, this is kind of the new normal. Reporting live in Santa Monica, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL News. Yeah, and frustrating for sure. Tom, thank you. Wow. Yeah, wow. It's been a week since the Summerlin.